Hello and welcome back to the Chromecast at the Rising Moon. My name is Elaine and on this channel I do the Spirit Guide Monthly live every last Friday of the month. I hope you're able to join me. But I also do this, I do pick a card readings and today's pick a card reading is what do they wish they had said instead? What do they wish they had said instead? And I have a couple of oracle cards to start us out on. We're going to draw a bunch of other ones. There will be tarot card draws as well, but I have five piles and a pick a card. Take a moment, concentrate, see which one really calls out to you. That's the message you're most meant to receive. Remember, this is a general reading, so there can't be a message for everybody. And I'm not sure what the nature of this relationship or misunderstanding or what they wish they correct um, is going to be. The cards will reveal that, and we will draw appropriate oracle cards at the time of the reading. Take a moment, see which one calls out to you. That's the message you're meant to receive. Take care. Be well. Welcome back. If you chose pile number one, this is your reading. We're putting number one over there so people can easily fast forward to the reading. But remember, there will be timestamps in the description box down below. The Archangel tar Tarot is going to bring us a five card predictive spread, five being the number of change. It can also be about confusion. This is what do they wish they had said instead. Now, I'm not sure what the background is going to be, but we're going to find out with some archetype cards here in a moment as well. We've got a couple of pre-selected oracle cards. Hey, before I get started, please don't forget to subscribe. It helps my channel. If you like the reading, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button. If you want to book me for a private reading, there is a link to my website in the description box down below. Let's go. Magnolia, you will find what you need in the wisdom of your heritage. This could be that they are. this is a situation where... A partner or an interest was not on the same page with you. You will find what you need in the wisdom of your heritage. Honest to goodness, let's find out what's going on here. Let go and enjoy. Interesting. Um, right away, it kind of looks like somebody who walked away from a relationship because they thought that they were not right for you or they could not make things work out between the two of you. But let's find out with some archetype cards. Can you tell me what the nature of this relationship was? So we've got the background and we're going to find out what they wish they had said instead. One and two and three. Hey you. I'm taking that one because it's side of the pop. Mystic. Revels in intimate union with the divine but the shadow attribute is delusional rapport with the divine. You might have a more spiritual side than they are, or they might be on a spiritual journey. Here we go. Let's keep going. All right. And that looks different for everybody. Child magical. Seeing the potential for sacred beauty in all things. That, that, that belief, the belief that everything is possible. And the shadow attribute is pessimism, depression, and disbelief in miracles. Believing that energy and action are not required for growth. Um, honest to goodness, what it's coming across as so far is somebody did kind of walk away from a relationship feeling like you did not have as much in common as you would need to to make it work. Let's keep going here and see what else comes out. So we know what the background is. What do they wish they had said instead? Do they have regrets? Do they wish they had done it differently? Do they still think they're right? What's going on here? Can you tell me what they had wished they had said instead for pile number one, please? This is the Archangel Tarot. It's going to be a little bit different. The suits are marked by Archangels. Here we go. We have the Two of Ariel. That's pentacles. That's a missing piece. That's something being out of balance. This is the card. I do obviously read reversals. Ariel in this is pent will be standing for pentacles. I have the five of Ariel, which is five of pentacles being left out in the cold. Um, in reverse, it's that feeling of inclusion, that feeling of increase. I have the seven of Ariel. These, this is a well-shuffled deck, so I am not sure what is going on. Um, because three things from the same suits, all pentacles, that would be Capricorn, Virgo, or Taurus energy. And then it's coming out with the King of Gabriel, which is the King of Wands. All right. 
And then I have the Nine of Michael in reverse, which is the Nine of Swords in reverse, which is releasing fears. Okay, well, this is a little bit interesting, group number one. What I've got is they walked away from a potential relationship. You may have begun one already. They felt like you were on different pages and on different paths and that you valued different things. And kind of what they're seeing in the long term and what they wish they had said instead, because the Seven of Pentacles in the upright is a process card. It can be like a downsizing and an organizing card. It's learning what to let go of and what to keep. Um, the sevens are also about like spiritual enlightenment. This particular person wishes that they had expressed their fears to you because the nine of swords in reverse is about releasing fears. It's about fears being put to rest. They, they did not go for a relationship or they walked away from a relationship with you feeling that they were missing the components or your relationship was missing the components that would make both of you happy. They wish they had chosen differently. With that Five of Pentacles in reverse, that is a feeling of wanting to come back in from the cold, wanting to be included in life. Um, they're working on their own things, and here I don't have any third-party indications here, but the let go and enjoy, they honest to goodness simply felt like there was a different outcome for you, that there was a better outcome for you, that they weren't in the space to give you, you know, karmic partner, that they weren't in the space to give you what you need, what you needed. They're looking at this as a lesson to be learned, but I have this weird regret energy around what they did say and what they did do. And what they wish they had said instead was they would like to work on things. This is a card of working on things in their own life. They had a lot to accomplish. The King of Wands is this kind of getting things done but that they kind of wanted to, they felt safer with you than they felt with other people, but they didn't feel like they were right for you. Separation, yeah. messages from spirit, isolation, push and pull energy. Um, where this person stands today is a little bit still in the same space. Like they, they are working hard on their own stuff they learned a lot from you. What they wish they had said instead was they wish they had explained it thoroughly. They, that they just, they, it's, it wasn't you. It really is one of those, they thought they had a missing piece. They could see that you were very connected and had very good intuition. And I think just believed in things more thoroughly than they did. In the time that you've been apart, because this really does look like with that let go and enjoy, and that you will find what you need in the wisdom of your heritage, it's they have been learning some life lessons. This is a card of like toil and labor as well. And they wanted to get more things done in their life before they committed to the type of partnership I think that they believed that you wanted. Um, they wish they had explained it more thoroughly because they feel like they made you feel rejected and what they were really trying to do growth just fell out what they were really trying to do was like they they weren't trying to reject you emotionally they were trying to do this along practical indecision growth indecision they were trying to work around along practical lines and i have to be honest there's not enough cups on this for, I don't know if it ever got off the ground and then regret. Oh, they do regret their choice. Let's stop here and keep going. Here's what I think happened with this person. With all this pentacles energy, like they tried to be far too practical about like love and connection and they wanted to get a bunch of things done in the world. What, what I think they wish they had said instead was that they want more time to figure out, they, they wish that they had told you the truth, honestly. Now I don't get the walk and lie type of energy, but what I kind of get is this feeling that they may not have told you anything. They may simply have, you know, pieced out with that let go and enjoy energy. Figuring that like you're this very connected person, that they were missing pieces that they believed were kind of integral to, um, integral to uh, a successful relationship. 
I don't know what's going on with this push and pull energy. It really feels like they go back and forth between the idea of coming back and then kind of landing in the same spot, but they wish they had made a different choice. They, they regret what they said, and it looks to me like if they, if they either left you out in the cold or kind of you haven't been in contact for a while, they wish they had tried to work on things with you. I don't know how long ago this was, but they learned a great deal from knowing you, whether or not they were ever involved with you. I do not get the sense that this was a third party situation. I mean, it could have been, but it looks more like they kind of, they chose their own path. They just kind of chose their own path. Let's get messages of love card as well. What they wish they had said instead was that they're working on themselves, that they had a lot to do in this world and that it wasn't about you. That's, that really appears to be what it was, and that they wish they had made a slightly different choice, because as they have grown, they regret like not going for it, not trying to figure it out, not trying to make it work. They simply wish they had told you more about their process and what they were thinking. Um, I really get the sense this person did not mean to hurt anybody, but the karmic partner separation, it really is like they they just thought you were on different pages. We have new love, balance, unavailable, soulmate, and I want one more on it, strictly sexual. Um, the soulmate strictly, like, apparently there was a lot of chemistry. There was a lot of chemistry. They felt that as well, but this person is unable to give you all that they deserve. They honest to goodness, like they just didn't have, if like, if, uh, if emotional fulfillment is a bank, man, they were running at a deficit. They just weren't at a place in their lives. They had to grow. What they, they really wish they had explained things to you more. That's really what the, the energy of this is, is that they, what they wish they had said instead was like a more, I kind of want to say thorough explanation of what really went into it. And I, here's the thing, they might not have said anything. Like they really might have just, you know, this is a dropped ball energy. This is a missing piece energy. They might really just have pieced out. They might have bounced. Um, but what they wish they had told you was really what was going on, which was that like they're at a place in their life where they're trying to accomplish more. They had a lot to learn. They regret the way in which they handled this. This push and pull energy, like they still think about you from time to time. Apparently there was this really strong chemistry and they felt that as well. I don't know if this is a twin flame situation. We're gonna get a portal card here. I have empowerment, grounded, strength, and stamina. It is weird. It's almost as if they felt like you had overwhelming energy for them. That this is a very slow processor. This is somebody with a very slow process, emergence, creation, resurrection, and magician, which is about power. This is an interesting draw. Like, this is an interesting draw. I'm going to get some, um, basically, the Island Wellness cards. They're now called the Love Oracle. But they wish they had explained what was going on within them. That they just, they just felt like they were missing something in their own lives and they weren't ready to build a life with somebody and they just kind of found you i almost want to say a little intense with this emergence and then a couple of the mystical cards as well and that's not an insult it's just that they were not it's like they didn't feel like they could keep up with you on this particular journey so here's what dropped out Mirror, mirroring each other, self-images, relationship reflect our wounds and introspection. I think they just wish they had found the words to make you understand that it genuinely wasn't a judgment of you. It genuinely wasn't a judgment of you. It was a judgment of themselves. Like they, they really just didn't know how to they're just so, I kind of want to say, their energy is somebody who grows slowly. That they have to contemplate things and really think things through. They're a slow processor before they take action. 
We have Cupid's arrow, have faith, love is coming, surprise, invitation, or meeting, hesitation, engagement ring, engagement, partnership, commitment, eternity, completion, and union with coffin, endings. Endings bring new beginnings, growth, change, liberation, and transition. Boy, this could go a little bit either way. Honest to goodness, what they wish they had said instead was simply explaining things to you. They really wish that they had simply explained their own process to you, that they wanted to spend some time alone, that they had just come to a point in their life, they just weren't ready. And I think that's really what they wish they had said, is that they had they wish they had explained what was going on with them, that they were not ready for what it was that was being offered that they were also wounded, that they have a lot of faith that you're going to find the right person. Um, do they think they're the right person? I think they go back and forth on that sometimes. I think they go back and forth on that. Let's go with a, an affirmations. What's going to help here? What's going to help here? What they wish they had said instead was they wish they had simply thoroughly explained to you that they were at a different point in their life. They still had a lot of things to work on that they are like to allay your fears with that nine of swords in reverse. They just wish they'd been very honest. But like, I, I get the feeling like they couldn't figure out a way to say it and not have it be, have you feel like it was a personal judgment. We'll get a, a romance angel before I go to see if there is anything to add about the future. Beauty. Seeking approval or gazes from others is not important. I, see, I seek to define myself in full and not just by my appearance. My beauty is most prominent when I am living a carefree and happy life unconcerned with others' approval. So that one's a little bit twofold. Like, I really get the sense that there was no lack of attraction. Like, they think you are smoking. But they're also, they needed to spend time by themselves. Communication. Healthy communication is meaningful in all relationships, and I realize that I must express myself to others how I desire to be communicated with. I manifest people that will expand my thinking, make me laugh, and bring happiness into my life. Um, I there, There's just this really, and then we have recharge. They, they have this appreciation and this admiration for you. I, I would really like to get a romance angel because with this push and pull energy and the regret, and then the coffin card can mean new beginnings. I'm just kind of not sure where they are with this. I am allowed to take breaks when a task is causing me stress. I will take a deep breath, put my hand to my heart, and step away. This allows me to gain a new perspective, recharge my brain, and work more efficiently in the future. Whatever happened when you were in each other's lives, it was simply, it was not the right time for them. They had no lack of attraction to you. I do not believe they actually, whatever it is they said, whatever the last communication you had seems to have been, if not sending you away, like expressing this idea that they couldn't do something and they wish they had explained to you why. That they had, that they're in a process of trying to figure themselves out and that they had a lot to do and that they just kind of didn't feel like they had everything that you deserve at that time. But they have regrets, which is the thing that's really giving me pause here. Let's go for a romance angel and close this guy out. One and two and three. Keeping this short and sweet, really short. <laughs> um, release your ex. The time has come to clear your energy. And then it came out with separation. Um, time apart from your partner is on the horizon. Um, are they coming back? Uh, they have their own regrets. They have that push and pull energy. Um, they really, they, that whole release energy that I have picked up over here, let go and enjoy life. Boy, it seems like they just want really, really good things for you. They have their own regrets. As they have grown and changed a little bit, they look back and I think that they wish that they could tell you what they wish they said and said was simply being honest about where they were in their own life. They found you this really attractive person, but it really is as if meeting you caused them to examine who they were. They have so much, like they think you're special. And I really do think that they believe that there is somebody for you. Do they think it's them? You know what, it's gonna differ from person to person. There's a little bit of energy here that suggests absolutely, because we have resurrection magician, 
and then creation and this push, push and pull energy. But that's what they just, they didn't think they were good enough. They didn't think they were good enough. Um, here's the thing. It looks like they really did. They were still in a process. They were still trying to deal with their own stuff. They were trying to make their own connection. That they really, their, you know, their intuition just guided them in a different direction from you. They apparently did not explain that to you in a way that they feel good about. And what they wish they had said instead was a greater explanation of why they, why they turned around and walked away. Um, are they coming back? Listen, I've got two different energies on that. And with any type of general reading, the thing that we have to remember is that is going to be very, very normal because different people will have different outcomes. Here's the thing, there is energy around both, but there's also just this energy of let go and release. Try to live your life and enjoy your life. Know that this person, if you ended up feeling rejected, kind of don't. They really, if they'd had it for anybody, I think they would have had it for you. But they recognized that they weren't at that point in their life when things were going down with you. And I don't think they had, since they're a slow processor and you appear to be a really quick one, I just don't think they were able to find the ability to convey to you why they thought you were awesome and yet they still kind of had to go on their own journey. They were still in their own process. And they, what they wish they had said and said is, like, I think they ended up making you feel rejected, but they kind of didn't know how to make you feel seen, approved of, validated, but also with the energy of, I just can't do this, not at this time, and I think you deserve more. But there is an energy for some people of that resurrection. So it's going to be different from person to person, but they wish they had been more honest with you about actually really kind of being into you, but maybe not being into themselves at the time it was going down. All right, so group number one, that was your reading. Take care. Be well. Welcome back. If you chose pile number two, then this is your reading. We're putting the number two over there so people can fast forward to their readings easily. Tower of the Mystical Moments is going to be, oh, I'm sorry. Is this the Dream Keepers? No, this is Tower of the Mystical Moments is going to be bringing you your predictive spread. Remember, there are timestamps in the description box down below. These two Oracle cards are going to give me a basis for what happened and what was going on with them. We're going to find out what they wish they had said instead. Um, this is likely a personal relationship, but it could be something at work or within a family. We'll find out through the cards. Hey, before I get started, please don't forget to subscribe. It helps my channel. If you like the reading, don't forget to that, that thumbs up button. If you want to book me for a private reading, there is a link to my website in the description box down below. Iris, spread your creative wings and take flight. Okay. And then I have take the lead. Wow. Um, this might be a work or a professional situation because both of these are about seeing somebody as a leader, as somebody who is strong, has a great deal of presence. Um, they may have had things to accomplish in a professional life. Let's find out what the nature of this is. There's been a bit of pre-shuffling on these because I'm using such large decks today. I just kind of felt like it. And we'll get more Oracle cards as the situation reveals the need for them. I'm going to be drawing some archetype cards to see what the uh, personality of the person is in this. And it can go either way in these relationship readings. Somebody just flipped. So did this guy. But somebody flipped before that. The sun in the upright with the four. Oh, ace of swords in reverse. The sun in the upright. Four swords in the upright. Man, they just had to take a break from something, huh? One and two and three and four. All right. King of swords. And then I have the justice card in reverse. Okay. Um... This does look like a no contact situation. It might be in a divorce, by the way, with that Ace of Swords in reverse. Um, I really do think this might be about, it really might be about a divorce. 
Um, what they wish they'd said instead is like, they do know they were unfair to you. Like they've come to some clarity around that with that King of Swords, which is about clarity. It is about judgment. Uh, the time apart has given them that clarity. What they said in the past, like it looks cutting. It looks like they really, the Ace of Swords in reverse can be about confusion. It can be about things being concealed. It can be about, again, cutting ties with somebody. This looks like a former relationship. Um, do they have regrets they appear to? Like time and distance has given them clarity. They believe that they uh, treated you unfairly with that justice card in reverse. One and two. And three. Let's get our archetype cards here. What is this involving, please? Boy, that thing's like made out of mush. Here we go. The flow on a shuffle um, tells me about what the relationship surrounding a situation, uh, what the energy surrounding a situation is like as well. Whoa, prostitute. Um, <laughs> accentuates the challenge of surviving without negotiating the power of your spirit, but the shadow attribute is places material consideration and security above self-empowerment. And then I have Sa uh, Avenger. Desire to balance the scales of judge, judgment, righteousness on behalf of a society or oneself, and the shadow attribute is resorting to violence in the name of a cause. This appears to be a divorce. Um, they apparently may have treated you like you were just out for money. Um, they understand that they were unfair. They really do understand. They've had some clarity around that. Really what they wish they had said instead they see you as a powerful ally. I think you used to solve problems for them all the time. And what they wish they had said instead was they wish they had come to a more equitable, like <laughs> they regret their actions. When we take a pause with that Four of Swords, which is putting things at rest, as they have healed, they realize that they took some ill-considered actions. They wish that they had done more to preserve a relationship with you. Um, this is either a breakup or a divorce. Um, it was pretty bitter. Um, there was, uh, like with that, <laughs> there was a little bit, even though there aren't pentacles on this table, like they really, I think they kind of wanted to make you out to be mercenary with that prostitute card, which is my least favorite card to get in front of a client because like I have to explain that it doesn't mean like literally out there selling one's wares on the street. What it means is doing things for a monetary agenda. Individuality. And then I have Oath. Ooh. This is a weird situation because it feels almost like there is a feeling of betrayal at the root of this. And I don't know who betrayed who, but they, they really, they really were very, um, like they put the worth of your relationship down on like a monetary level. These keep dropping out, so I'm going to get this into the camera frame so that I can shuffle it. What do we have to add to this? They wish they had been fair to you. They wish they had acknowledged your worth and your power. What they wish they had said instead was that they were generous offer. Okay. They wish they had been more upfront, more above board. They wish that they had offered to help you more. One and two and three. I think that they tried to put all of the blame on you in a situation. Um, and there's always going to be blame on both sides. Regrets, ooh, manifest, and then vivid dreams. Um, listen, whatever they did, like they were not behaving in service of their higher self. They broke a promise to you with that oath card. This really might have been a marriage. Um, it does look like it has to do with the divorce with that Ace of Swords in reverse. Um, what they wish they had said instead is that they have really talked to you about how much they, you meant to them in their life. They have seen your value over the time, the course of time as they have healed. They no longer, like they understand how unfair they were. They wish that they had been more generous that they understand that like you are very likely to achieve in your lifetime. Um, they wish they had kept that as, quite frankly, a, a beneficial relationship to them. There's no love left here. 
like this is all swords and the energy of air. Um, there are the sun, which is new beginnings. One, two, three. Do I have anything else here? What else do they wish they had said? They, they wish what they wish they had said and done instead was quite firm. They wish they had been fair. They wish they weren't walking around with this. I kind of almost want to say a stigma. Different pages, passion, obstacles. At the time that I believe this was a dissolution of some type of relationship, they really, I feel like they thought that they were the wounded party, that they had almost no clarity on their own actions, on their own, like they weren't taking any responsibility. And I think they made you out to be like a gold digger. And over the course of time, they realized they were terribly unfair to you. And they wished that they had been more upfront. What they wish they had said instead is we can work together. Um, they're very much plagued by this at this point. I think because they, they kind of, this is a card of retribution. It's almost like they fear that something's coming for them, you know? That they feel like maybe they screwed up their karma. They really wish that they had been more upfront with you. I, here's what I think it is, too. Is that the way that this has come to them is that every time they try and tell somebody what happened, like they have to, it has come to them that they are maintaining a lie. As they try and tell people like what went down, like they've had to examine their own actions and they wish that they had been more above board. They wish that they had been fair. Imagination, success. There is this weird energy where it's like they think you're going to get it all done, you know? They see you with this energy of somebody who will achieve trust. Okay, well, what I've really got here is we've got somebody who, like, over the course of time has begun to understand that they were more in the wrong than they believed themselves to be at first. They thought that they were a victim. Um, the way that it has kind of come to them over the course of time that they kind of weren't is that whenever they have to talk to somebody, whenever they have to convey to people what happened, like they can't honestly without like confronting the ways in which they acted. And it does not look like they acquitted themselves well. It looks like they really It's all very, it's all very, like, they went to war rather than tried to see your point of view. With that trust, imagination, and success, I really think they convinced themselves you're a gold digger. And, like, I think over the course of time it has become more obvious to them how the Avenger thing, they worry. This is what they worry about. Like, they worry that they, they knocked something out of balance over here. Um, I'm, I'm, like, I'm not going to gild the lily here. Um, this particular energy, like there's no love left, but there's this concern over the judgment of others. And that they realize that if they had behaved more fairly, that it would benefit them more. Like if they could say that, yeah, we're still good friends, Instead of like I, there's immortal enemies or whatever that energy of the Avenger is. Individuality and oath. I honest to goodness, I feel like they are have begun to understand that they are the person who is not perceived well. Alright, I have Majestic Eminence, Priestess, Divine Feminine, and Worth. Um, they have come to see your worth in their life. And then I have exploration, boldness, unknown, and limitless. I don't know if you're successful. I don't know what this energy of it almost feels like they understand whatever it is they did was like cutting off their nose to spite their face. That in the end result, they've only hurt themselves and they've deprived themselves of something 
that was important to them, but they did not treat it as being important. Um, I have a feeling that they were very accusatory towards you, that they twisted a lot of the information. Um, as they've healed, they really, they really kind of wish they had a do-over because I do think they keep having dreams. Like they're a little bit haunted by, it's almost like their higher self is trying to get them to confront that they're the person who broke faith with you, not the other way around. Like, I don't know if they cheated. I don't know what happened. It really does appear to be a breakup or a divorce. Um, in the aftermath, they were incredibly, like they accused you of being mercenary. Nature, I do not read these paragraphs underneath. They're hardly ever valid. Um, nature and wisdom. Boy, time brings clarity sometimes. And that's just what I've got here. Like that nature card, I think as things went down, I don't, I don't know if you were the person who left them and it just infuriated them. Maybe it tripped into old travel. I want one more positive work outcomes. I think they are watching your life versus their life, and they are starting to wonder if they are the person who has been judged. Because the very area that they keep, like, you know, they accused you of being, like, mercenary and out for money, like, they're the person who I think their fortunes have suffered. Um, it's just this out-of-balance card. As they've healed and, like, had time to pause and reflect, the truth has come to them and they understand that they have been unfair. They wish that they had been, like, they'd worked with you at the time of a breakup. If this is a divorce that went all the way to court, they really freaking fought you. Um, and they, it's only been in the aftermath that, like, if they, they try and tell the real story of what happened, is that they kind of realize they don't come off that well. Like they've been watching other people's reactions and they understand that like if they try and talk about what happened, if they try and talk about what happened, they understand that they are being, there's judgment against them. We have Cupid's arrow, have faith, love is coming, surprise, invitation, or meeting, hesitation, with engagement ring, engagement, partnership, commitment, eternity, and union paradise which has to do with happiness joy playfulness oneness enjoying each other and then ascending which is transcending obstacles learning expansion new phase preparing for union i think that they have had um a relationship go south on them in the interim maybe more than one um this like they see you as being somebody who has everything on their side as time and distance has brought them a little bit more clarity and the regret card is bothersome to me only in that the type of regret this person has is it is more about like it's fear-based rather than decency based like they're a little bit like what's going to happen to me for what i did instead of really considering it's like they know they're wrong because of other people's reactions versus understanding the difference between right and wrong. I think that they are seen as the person who broke a vow to you, not the other way around. When they try and convey the situation, that they understand that they are on the this avenger with prostitute, that they're really they tried to make you out to be the villain and only recently have they begun to understand that when they are trying to tell the story to other people that they are not judged as being the victim they are not seen as the victim they are seen as the person who did wrong and they wish they could go back and do it differently in this imagination we had the vivid dreams cards it's like the honest to goodness they replay events in their head, wishing that they had um, worked with you, that they had been completely above board, 
And it's, it's interesting to me because it has both to do with your value, but honest to goodness, one of the things I'm not really digging is that it is as it is equally about how they are perceived by others. Because I'm not sure why, but it is too easy for other people to spot. Like in most situations, like you hear one person's side of the story and there's no way to know. Like you don't have the, the there's, you know, they used to say there's his story, her story, and then the truth. Um, there, it's too easy for people to see something. And so what they wish they had done instead is that they wish they had been completely above board. They wish that they had worked with you. It is not because they really deeply care. Um, it is because, again, all this weird mental energy. But it is as they began to begin again, like they had to pause and reflect about how they were being judged by others. That they realized that there is a cooling of the way that people receive them because of something that they did and it has only been through the judgment of others that they have begun to understand that perhaps they did wrong. Um, towards you, is there like any emotion? Just some regret, just some regret. Um, what they wish they had said instead is absolutely, let's make sure this is fair to everybody. Um, they wish they had treated you like an ally because over the course of time it has become very obvious to them that you are a very powerful one and that you are somebody who has your own leadership ability, you know your own mind, that you made a lot of things work in their life. They wish they had treated you like you were a valuable friend, even though it does appear as if any feelings uh, have been put to rest. Okay, group number two, that was your reading. I hope it helped. Um, remember, it is a general reading. It can't hold true for everybody. But it, it does look like it was a pretty bitter breakup and that you're not asking about getting back together either. You're just wondering how do they feel now and do they have regrets? They do. And it is, if this is your pile, it's not going to shock you that the regrets are around how they are perceived by others and that they wish they had a better story to tell as much as anything. Um, they have come to the realization that you don't need them. Like they really, here's what I've kind of got. They kept, at the time you guys broke up, they put it forth that you were the person who used them and just used them and you were out for money and you were that, you know, that prostitute energy. And over the course of time, it has become apparent to them that maybe, just maybe, they were the person who was utilizing their power, not the other way around. And that also they can't tell the truth to people without absorbing the fact that they are being judged as being wrong in what they did. Okay, that was your reading. Take care. Be well. Welcome back. If you chose pile number three, then this is your reading. We're putting the number three over there so people can easily fast forward to their reading. The Enchanted Soul Tarot is bringing us a predictive spread. We got the big decks out today, and I have two pre-selected oracle cards to give me the basic nature of this misunderstanding or miscommunication. Um, this could be a family relationship, a work relationship, or a romantic relationship. Um, I'm not sure. I set the intention of finding out what somebody wishes they said instead. Let's check. We'll draw some archetype cards, oracle cards, and tarot cards on this. Before I get started, please don't forget to subscribe. It helps my channel. If you like the reading, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button. If you want to book me for a private reading, there is a link in the website to the description. There is a link in the description box below to my website. Daisy, believe and trust in happiness. And then I have admit your vulnerabilities. Oh, oh. I think this is a crush. I think this is somebody who has a crush on you. They might not have taken the opportunity to talk to you. What have we got going here? What have we got going here? Like they felt, because with that admit your vulnerabilities, like they just beat up on themselves for like something that they missed. Here we go. What do they wish they had said instead? I'm not sure they said anything. Like they had an opportunity and instead of shooting their shot, they held on to it. Here we go. One, two, okay. All right, we have the nine of pentacles in reverse, which is frustration. It can also be being drained. It can also be feeling like a lack of individual power. Um, it can also be, in one of the interpretations, it is, now it can be a kept woman in reverse like that, like somebody who, who is a courtesan. Um, 
but it can also quite simply be someone who is single who is looking to pair up because the Nine of Pentacles in the upright is a card of somebody who is independent and single. I did a little bit of a pre-shuffle on this. I love these decks for their imagery, but I really wish the card makers would get it under control because it's giant. Here we go. In terms of size. With the Mentor, which is the Hierophant card. This is somebody you either have known through work or through school. I don't know if they still see you frequently, but it's like a shot. They did not take three of swords in the upright. Well, it's the heartbreak card. Okay. Um, let's read what this one says. Heartbreak, loss, betrayal, emotional pain, separation, sadness, trauma, and tears. Blind faith guide, religious beliefs, conformity, rituals, and ceremonies. And then underneath this one, luxury, abundance, wealth, success, independent, opulence, thrive, comfort. Now that one's in reverse. This is interesting. Seven of Cups in the Upright, which is daydreaming, choices, fantasies, illusions, opportunities, and procrastinating. Whoever they are, they see you, and they just kind of have not gone for it. With the Wheel of Destiny, which is the Wheel of Fortune in reverse, which is fortune, luck, destiny, karma, fate, opportunity, and randomness and change. This is somebody who has a, they just have such a crush on you. Uh, they see you either through work or through school. This is one of those, like, it's a card for um, traditionalism and structures and, like, the patriarchy and schools and churches. And, again, it's a working situation. And it can be a mentoring situation. It can be somebody that you have worked with. What they wish that they had said instead is anything. Because I am not getting the sense that they were able to, like, this is very much up in the air. And this is somebody who's like, you know, they are counting their misfortunes. I do not think they have been able to find the, I don't want to say like guts, because it's not about, it's not about that. Um, I think that they're afraid they're going to get, get shot down. And so they haven't spoken. This is, this is a secret of my energy. This is somebody who has a crush on you has not shot their shot. Um, it's because they're afraid of getting shot down. And would you? Mm, maybe. I can be really honest, maybe. Um, there's I can't tell what your feelings are towards this person. Let's go one and two and three. But it is somebody who, like, they're, like, they're very invested. With that Three of Swords, that's heartbreak, that's pain. Like whenever they see you, and they see you as like this person to look up, like you're a guide in other people's lives. You might be, this could be your manager where they work. It's going to differ from situation. Remember, it's a general reading, so we're going to have multiple scenarios at play. But they really, they, what they, what they wish they'd said and said is like almost anything to get your attention. High Priestess of Earth. That the earth energy is that kind of uh, queen of pentacles energy. This is, again, a work situation that can actually be a therapist or someone who's a counselor. And then I have understanding as well. Um, listen, the way they see you is just beautiful. It's got this like earth mother energy around it. But you make them like they, I think they see you fairly regularly still. Because there's just this energy of this person who's like, what do they wish they had said instead? Like they want to make conversation with you. They wish that they were able to find the, it's not the strength, but like they have a, they're, they're so afraid of getting shot down. They're so afraid of getting their heart broken. And would it be a heartbreaking situation for them? I cannot tell. Like I have not gotten any information on that yet. One and two and three, but it's somebody who, like, they're, they're pretty frustrated in their, um, their feelings for you, which are, they're recurrent, and they are pretty strong. Like, they have dreams and fantasies about you. Um, it's, a, is it kind of a spicy energy? Yeah, a little bit. Spiritual protection, good luck, divine masculine, I want one more on this one. Ghosted. This is no contact. Um, you, they are aware of you. This is not, I have, I do not have the Seven of Swords on this. I do not have anything that like in any way causes this to be an upsetting set of circumstances. But this is somebody who, they just can't even get up the guts to talk to you. 
like they they think about all of the different things that they could talk to you every time they see you and they see you it does appear through work or school it's a it's an institutional setting that's that uh, hierophant card the mentor card it's an institutional setting i'm not positive that they've ever talked to you about anything outside of work or whatever reason that they're seeing you but they play it over in their head over and over again and they are just so afraid of getting shot down uh, the guardians we've got shielding defense and warning with you have that spiritual protection as well i am not positive that it's a bad thing that this person cannot get up the guts i have this strange energy around like either you're not ready you might be with somebody um that three of swords energy as the center card is really just kind of calling out to me because that's likely to represent their energy and it just kind of seems like maybe it wouldn't go so well for them. Contemplation, silence, knowing, releasing control. Here's what I think it is. This person wants a shot with you so much. They see you. It is, if it's not constantly, it's frequently. Because, like, they still see you. They very much look up to you. I think they might know that there's there's a reason. I don't know if it's an age difference, uh, difference in, like, material circumstances where they kind of think maybe they don't have a chance and they might be right. But it is somebody who, what do they wish they said instead? Like they wish they could tell you how they feel. They wish that they could figure out something that would like draw you in. But they're, what keeps them held back is like they have this, like they just really look up to you with that mentor energy and the high priestess of earth with understanding. They, honest to goodness, they just see you as being this very powerful person. Um, they have not spoken to you. Like, I, I have this the weirdest image in my head of somebody, like, composing texts over and over again and then just releasing them, like, you know, erasing them, never sending them. They try to come up with something to say to you. Soulmate with awakening addiction passion, interference, third parties. All right. Now, remember, addiction can be a codependency energy. I don't know if they're working with addiction. I don't have that. I honestly don't have any of the cards I associate with it. But, like, this is an obsessive energy. Um, listen, I, I don't know how else to put this, but, like, they fantasize about you a lot. Like, you're... you're they're, you made them believe in the idea of relationships or soulmates or true, like, spiritual connection. The third party, an external party, is intruding on this relationship. They may already be with somebody. I'm not sure. Um, I Maybe not. Although the Three of Swords can be a third party situation, this person sees you and they just... It's just, it's both sweet and a little unnerving that they are just so convinced that you are so special. And they talk themselves out of talking to you over and over again. But they wish they could talk to you about how they feel. They wish, they seize up. It, it really is like whenever, and here's the thing, I don't think you've, you've like, that you've spoken to one another. I think you've spoken to one another. I don't think this is a, they've never spoken to you, they see you from afar, this is somebody who's just watching energy. It's like they have reason to be in contact with you sometimes. I don't know if they work in the same office building. Like, I always associate this with government structures, and remember, general readings is gonna be different for everybody. I, I, they just want to plain old fashioned ask you out. They really just wish that they could figure out a way to shoot their, you know, their shot. And they're, they're not. They're not. That Three of Swords, they either think that they're going to get be shot down, either you're with somebody or they're with somebody, or they're convinced that they're going to get their heart broken. But they fantasize about you, and I, honest to goodness, maybe you're healing from a breakup. Let's find out. Not today. Not dealing hurt, avoiding a conversation, call person, boundaries, still angry. They they can't ever get up the cassette. 
outdated thinking, conditioning, replaying events over in your head. I'll take one more on that, but that absolutely fits with palm tree. Stability, security, permanence, growth, endurance, and flexibility. The thing that is sad about this particular energy is like every single interaction they have with you is something that they just play over and over again in their head. Like for all I know, they're recording it. Um, maybe not, maybe not. It's just that they, it's like they have you on a loop in their head and it's not obsessive and it's not horrifying. It's just that they're so invested in this. An external party is intruding on this relationship. Honest to goodness, you may already be with somebody. Like they don't have any type of creeper vibe. Let's go ahead and we'll get some archetype cards. I had been getting them um, beforehand for other piles and I didn't get them first because I was just so certain what this was. Oh my goodness, prostitute too came back. Um, that came from a different pile as well. Um, that is not like a literal prostitute. It is accentuates the challenge of surviving without negotiating the power of your spirit, places material considerations and security above self-empowerment. It's like they don't think they're in your league. It's like they don't think they're in your league. I don't know if you're far more attractive. Child eternal. Light attributes determines to remain young in body, mind, and spirit. Ability to see things with fresh eyes. Inability to grow up and be responsible. Extreme dependencies on others for physical security is the shadow attribute. There's something. Like, I don't know if there is an age difference here. I don't know if... Um, somebody is with somebody else, but this is a secret admirer who really wishes that they could find a way to talk to you. To, and they do talk to you sometimes because they've got, whenever they say something to you, whenever they encounter you, it's special to them. Like they are playing things over and over again in their head. They've wanted to ask you out, which is why I don't think it's the part they can possibly actually really be with somebody. I don't know if they think you have feelings for somebody else or if you're with somebody else. This security card, it, it really could, honest to goodness, be a security guard at your school, at your office building. It could be with that particular card. It could be a police person that you keep encountering. But they have, like, they, they really... Like, you light them up, and they do have fantasies about you. It's not creepy on any level. But what they wish they say they could say is, like, they wish that they could figure out a way to kind of get you on board with how they feel. But they never have. That ghosted energy, honest to goodness, every time I look at that card, I just get the same thing over and over again, where, like, they write out texts to you. I really think they have your telephone number. Surrender. I release my need to control. But the addiction energy, now it could be a literal addiction. I don't happen to have it in the tarot cards, which is really the base energy for any reading that I'm doing. What they wish they had said instead is essentially trying to find a way to get you to uh, recognize and perhaps participate in their interest as well. Judgment. I understand that everyone has their own unique path and challenges with doubt. I release the need to know all the answers. We have freedom as well. I possess the power and the free will to create my own happiness. Um, they seize up like an overheated engine every time they're anywhere near you. They literally, it's like they forget how to form sentences. They wish that they could find a way to talk to you about the strength of their feelings, which apparently are very strong indeed. Um, whenever we start talking about somebody watching somebody from afar, it's really important to remember, I've got no, and there are cards that are like, competition, enemy, look over your shoulder. I don't have any of that. This person is an admirer, not a stalker. This is, a, and is there a difference? Yeah, there, there really is. Like this person is not doing anything inappropriate. They're not hanging out underneath your kitchen window while you're cooking dinner or something. They really have such admiration for you and the what they wish they had said instead is quite simply like I think they wish that they were 
like funny and engaging and flirty and fun and that they could be a person who did this with ease. They are constantly replaying things over in their head. Like any interaction that they've had with you is both very special to them, but weirdly a little bit painful with that three of swords because they just like they they just replay what they have said and like, oh man, why didn't I say this? Why didn't I say that? Why didn't I mention this? Why didn't I talk about that? They have enough of an interaction with you that they feel like there's an open door and that they just never ever walk through it. Um, what they wish they had said instead is something that would draw your attention, draw your focus, and draw your interest. This is somebody who has a great deal of interest in you. Is it ever going to work out? I don't know. My gosh, they're insecure. Like they're, And there's something where there is another person that they take into account. I don't know if they think you're in love with somebody. I don't know if you're with somebody. Since they so really want to ask you out, I, honest to goodness, I'd be surprised if it was a third party situation where they have a person. But group number three, that is what do they wish they had said instead? They wish they had been like engaging and flirtatious and charming and appealing. But every time they talk to you, it's like they talk to you about tire pressure or something. It, it really is this very mundane work a day world uh, occurrence whenever they talk to you. But like you light them up on a very personal level and everything you ever say to them, like they, it's almost like they memorize things that you say to them. Group number three, that was both intriguing and uh, kind of validating. So I hope you enjoyed your reading. Take care. Be well. Welcome back. If you chose pile number four, then this is your reading. We're putting the number four over there so people can easily fast forward to their readings, but there will be timestamps in the description box down below. Hey, this has been a fun reading so far. It is what do they wish they had said instead? I wasn't sure what the scenarios would be when I set the intention for this. It can be romantic relationships, work relationships, familial relationships, or friendships. And we've had a variety so far. So let's see what group number four is about. Hey, before I get started, please don't forget to subscribe. It helps my channel. If you like the reading, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button. And if you want to book me for a private reading, there is a link to my website in the description box down below. Let's go. All right, Chrysanthemum. Be here always with willing hands and heart. It's like this is somebody who already wishes they'd said yes to something. Express your joy. Gosh, it's like somebody wanted to be happy for you. They, they wish they had talked to you about how happy they are for you. This could be an X situation. Let's check. Let's find out. One and two and three. All right. Five of Wands in the upright. Competition. Um, that can be competition, bickering. Um, it can kind of be taking swipes at each other. I get the sense that this is somebody you had an argument with. I like it's somebody who I think didn't know how to talk to you about their real feelings about something. And so like they took a, like I think they feel like maybe they flew off the handle. Because that's one of the meanings of the Five of Wands. Here we go. The Wheel of Fortune in the upright. I have the Queen of Wands in reverse. Yeah, it's somebody that like lost their, they lost it on you. Um, with the Six of Wands in the upright, that's another success card. That's a graduation card. That's a social media card. Two cards of great success. And again, one card for competition with the Queen of Swords in the upright. Okay, this looks to me like a likely disagreement with a friend versus a romantic relationship. Let's find out though, because I'm not positive yet. Um, if it is a romantic relationship, like somebody got their own worth was challenged by something, meaning they felt kind of inferior to you in some capacity. Like they felt like instead of talking about what you two were talking about, they were actually kind of, they got triggered. They got triggered. That Queen of Wands in reverse is frequently triggered. You guys had an argument. I'm not sure if you're in contact any longer. Um, if this is a romantic relationship, they miss you and they, because you guys used to laugh and have a good time too with each other. And that is part of the reason that, part of the reason that I'm not convinced of the nature of the relationship. There's a feeling of like a rift with this. 
and that they wish they could move forward and they wish they could talk to you again because this is clear and open communication. Queen of Swords also stands in her truth and remember that's going to be Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius energy and but we've also got multiple cards on wands and then we've also got um, so that can also be uh, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. Now I don't read by the astrological signs too much but this is somebody who just plain old fashion lost their temper. Take a risk. Aww. It's somebody who wishes they could reinitiate contact. And again, there's such happiness. Express your joy. It's like you guys made each other laugh a lot. They had a really good time with you. Patience. I don't know if they were overwhelmed with what was going on in their life, but something that led to a disagreement with you was informed by a level of stress and pressure in their own life and they're aware of it and what they wish they had said and said instead was like the opposite of what they said they wish they had not engaged at the time that they did whatever happened they brought their own issues to the table slow and steady oh they did they flew off the hand generous offer i'm going to take one more on this one crossroads It is so interesting to me that I can't figure out if this is a personal or a friendship or a professional one or a romantic relationship. And remember, in general readings, it can go either and any way. We're going to get some archetype cards here to try and kind of pin down the nature of the relationship. Um, it can be different for different people, but this is somebody where you parted ways and there's an argument at the root of it. And they wish that they had explained something to you. I think it's something that, here we've got artist. Light attribute is expressing a dimension of life that is just beyond the five senses, inspiring others to see symbolically. The shadow attribute is using talent as an excuse to mistreat others, posing as the starving, starving artist to elicit self-pity, to, to elicit pity. With that competition energy, and remember, you know, in friendships and in romantic relationships, sometimes people feel like they're competing with one another. And this is a competition energy as well. This is a business energy. This is somebody who just like lost it. And moving on from the situation, they have greater truth and clarity around it. What they wish they had done is not spoken at all. Like whatever it is, they know that they were the person who's in the wrong. They feel like they want to reach out but it's almost like they it's almost like they don't know where to start with that like this crossroads energy is which where they are right now whatever the nature of this relationship there's no contact currently if it's a friendship that went sour due to an argument and like were you the person losing it it doesn't look that way it looks like this person took out their issues on you, honestly. Slave. Surrendering your power of choice to the divine with complete trust in the shadow attribute is giving your willpower to an external authority out of fear of making your own choices. Listen, I'm going to take one more on this vampire. Makes you aware that someone or something is draining your life force and then the divine the shadow attribute is depleting others for your, for your psychic survival. Chronic complaining and codependency. This person has a codependent energy with that slave and the vampire energy. Um, this really could go either way. I genuinely don't have the nature of the relationship here, and it's going to be different things for different people. But it is somebody who the last time you spoke to them, they, were, they, they weren't fair. Like, they were bringing old stuff to the table. They miss you, and what they wish they had said instead is they wish they had not. Like, they honest to goodness wish they had walked away. Um, and kind of taking a pause on the situation. They, it's, it's interesting. In the instead, they just wish that they had like moved away from the situation, that they had not engaged, they had taken responsibility for their own stuff. They are apparently a codependent person. And like, so they kind of might have made either their, your, their issues yours, meaning they brought more to the table in some kind of situation that was triggering for them. And it's almost like they're aware of that. I've got this weird, like, I know I blew it energy. I have utopia, peace, serenity, and paradise. And then, because they, they, they just, they want a way back. 
crown portal, divine unity and separation. Um, this really could be a friendship or it could be a romantic relationship. For I'm going to get from the higher love oracle cards. Please remember soulmate cards in this can also mean friends. I'm going to get some more oracle cards on this. Currently what I've got is a relationship that resolved in an argument in which the other person just was being disproportionate. Queen of Wands in reverse is having a disproportionate response. She's lost control of her temper. What this person wished they had said instead is they wish they had not, it like had never happened. Beyond that, since it did, like they wish they could figure out a way to come back towards you. Like they're always trying to figure out like a good reason to contact you. And they kind of don't have one. They kind of don't have one. I feel like this person believes that there's a path forward, but they don't know how to find it. Um, because it's like, Part of the reasons that's making me say I'm not positive it's a romantic relationship is quite simply, you know, when people are involved with one another, if they have this type of argument, you know, usually th people cool down, like somebody reaches out again. I don't know if they blocked you and now they don't know what the fuck, what, the, what in the world they can do. Pardon me. Yes, I really did almost slip and drop an F-bomb there, but I didn't. Uh, end of a learning phase. Loss issues. Aw, lost love. Moving on, escape, and then I want one more, new opportunities. They wish they could come to you and just tell you, listen, I know I screwed up. It's been a minute, though. It's been a minute. And again, is this a lost love or a lost friendship? It could be both. They wish they could have another chance. Um, they wish that they... It's like it took them a very long time to understand it was old issues. Like, I think that they stayed angry too long. And that's what actually started to make them wonder, like, did I screw up? Because, like, this person just didn't do anything that terrible to me. Why am I still so angry at them? And they realized that it had, like, I think they felt like you were treating them as being lesser with that artist, slave, and vampire. That, is it true? It does not appear to be. Like, it really does look as if maybe you were the person who tried to, like, maybe we shouldn't have this conversation now. You seem pretty upset. And that, of course, just made them more angry. Um, what they wish they had said instead is that they had, like, simply not tried to approach you when they were in that condition. Because, like, it, it kind of is like they got triggered and they tried to emotionally dump all their stuff on you. And when you would not field it, like, they, they did something drastic that they can't undo. Self-care. Clear your energy field and focus on yourself before acting. Like, time by themselves, this take a risk energy is, honest to goodness, they did something impulsive and now they can't take it back. The Queen of Wands is somebody uh, who is very charismatic. She takes action. She's a real go-getter. In reverse like that, she's usually done something that like maybe was not the best course of action. Um, how would you feel about this person if they tried to come back? I'm not positive. Like, I, I think that you're just a little over being the person who, like, if, if somebody's dumping on you for their own stuff, like, that hits your boundaries. Unavailable. This person is unable to give you all you deserve. Lesson. And then true love. Wait. Um, again, honest to goodness, this could be a romantic relationship or honest to goodness could be a friendship. I do not have definitive energies in either direction. But it is somebody who did something and said things that they did not mean. Um... I have this weird feeling that like as time went on and they are they understood that it's like I, why am I angry at this person still because I have the weirdest thing here like I think you were a little cold but I don't think you actually said much I think you kind of called it out for like maybe we shouldn't be having this conversation now and this person like was just so triggered that they they, you know, they they slammed a door shut and locked it when really what they should have done is simply kind of walk away until they cooled down. Um, by the time they cooled down, 
like they had overreacted to an extent that there was nothing they could do. We have health and love, and I'm taking one more on that grief. Um, okay, let's take a look at the other two that dropped. Come here, which is indecision and forgiveness. Okay. Well, they feel the loss of the relationship, and can it be different things for different people? Of course, it's a general reading that is very, very likely. Um, they wish they could be forgiven, and what they wish they had said instead is quite simply nothing. That if you were the person saying, hey, maybe we shouldn't be doing this right now, they like they wish they had been able to say, you're right, like, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm bringing more to this table than it, this situation calls for. Um, they want to come back. They do want to come back, but it's not the right time. Maybe for you. Like, I've got this very interesting energy around this where... where I'm not sure you're ready to accept them back. Like, even if you've spotted that what was going into their stuff, whatever they did was not super painful for you, but it's almost like I've just got this energy of, like, I am not dealing with this. I'm not dealing with this. And, and that's kind of why I've got... I'm very uh, uncertain as to the nature of this relationship. There is love in it. There was a lot of joy. You guys used to laugh together a great deal. But it could be a work situation with that competition in the Wheel of Fortune, with this Five of Wands and the Wheel of Fortune. But it was a work friendship, if it was. And that person, like, tried to talk to you about something that was not your responsibility. And when you, when you were the person calling that out, they flew off the handle, they overreacted, they're aware of it. Um, they wish that they had not engaged. That's the, what they wish they had said instead, is nothing. After that, they wish they could find a way back, but they can't right now. They just kind of can't. We have love. I'm telling you, I've got so many things here with lust that is passion and kind of losing it as well, and movement. Um, listen. Because I have, like, again, over and over, this was it a frenemy situation? Was it a friends with bed benefits situation? Was it a situationship? Was it a relationship? It was an argument that is at the base of this. So that's the identifying characteristic that the, um, the cards are trying to call out. That this person, this vampiric energy, like you honest to goodness just seem to have recognized, this is not my stuff. This is not my stuff. That is your stuff. I will not engage on this front because that is your stuff, not my stuff. And that apparently made them just screaming mad. And they did something that they wish they had not. Um, they still have love for you. Um, they know that they're this really, like, they're still working on their stuff, is it? Part of it. And then I kind of get the feeling that they they don't know what their reception would be but they see you as this kind of go-getter person this person who's very like you've got it all and they miss having you in their life but they, they just don't know how to bridge that gap they just don't know how to bridge that gap and give it more time is what i would say um give it more time because this person gives off this not healed energy they're, they're just Whatever, because I really have that, like, you were aware at the time that it's like, this doesn't have anything to do with me. Um, and that person was not, they weren't reasonable about it. We have abundance. There is this weird successful energy around you that this other person is aware of. They have some jealousy issues with you as well, which is why I'm not absolutely positive what the nature of the relationship is. This person is jealous of you, um, but in that kind of, in that competitive way versus that malicious way. Meaning you might both be trying to succeed in either similar or in different fields. You're doing well. And that person can see that, but mostly they just miss how much you laugh together and then slumber. Like this is, we're putting this on pause for a while. Um, it's not the time for this relationship to 
begin again if there is a time. But this person, like, they know they, I just kind of want to say, screwed up. Um, there is no way for them to correct it right now as they're still working on things. They've just got this energy of needing more time to figure out what it is that they're doing and when they're going in life. And I'm going to, I have not been taken from the Quantum Oracle for this reading, but I just, that's just what called out to me. Can you show me what the rest of the story is? Because I'm just so confused as to whether the great gratitude, some, you know that old saying, you don't know what you've got until it's gone? That's that's what happened for them. Like they they feel your absence in a way that makes them question what they did. Discovery, hidden motivations, they figured it out. Behind a mask and then true love, which is, this really could go either way. It could be a romantic relationship or it could be a friendship. Um, they understand that their underlying issues informed their behavior the last time they spoke to you. Uh, they take responsibility for that, but they don't know how to make amends for it. They've still got work to do. They've still got work to do. You seem like you're fine, by the way. The energy from that is that, like, you know, you're looking at this, and this pile may not be why you chose the reading, but it has that message for you. Express your joy, and then be here always with willing hands and heart. If you can figure out who this person is from what I'm describing, please remember there was more to that relationship than the end of it. There was simply more to it. Like everybody has their own path to walk and everybody stumbles sometimes. That person like stumbled and fell. They appear to know it. Um, they can't figure out a way past right back right now. And candidly, they shouldn't because they've still got stuff to do. Um, that Queen of Swords though is somebody who stands in her truth easily and sees the truth. When this person comes back, please remember we all do screw up, you know. They seem to have tremendous affection for who you are in their life. All right, group number three, four. That was your reading. I hope it helped. Take care. Be well. Welcome back. If you chose pile number five, then this is your reading. We're putting number five over there so people can easily fast forward to their reading. This is the Nordic Magical Tarot bringing us a five card predictive spread. We've got two oracle cards to give me the nature of whatever the misunderstanding is or the root cause of the problem. We'll get some archetype cards to see what type of relationship is. Hey, before I get started, please don't forget to subscribe. It helps my channel. If you want to book me for a private reading, there's a link to my website in the description box down below. If you like the reading, please don't forget to hit that thumbs up button. That all helps my channel. Here we go. We have Poppy. Remember who you wanted to be. And then do all things in moderation. Oh, interesting. Remember who you wanted to be. And pause for a second so that I could cough. Um, okay, so here's the thing. Do all things in moderation. This is somebody who had, like, they reconsidered what they said and did. But I don't have any information about what the nature of the relationship is yet. It might have been a rejection, but I'm not positive. I'm not positive what area of life it's going to pertain to yet. Let's get our tarot down, then we'll look at the archetype cards as well. So what do they wish they had said instead, please? Can you tell me what they wish they had said instead? One and two and three. Uh, Knight of Pentacles in the upright. That's that sl uh, Somebody like needed to calm down before they talk to you about something. This is an argument. Good Lord. All right. We're taking this guy, which is three of cups. This can be a friendship. This can be a party situation. I'm picking up the rest of these and starting all over again. Um, this could be somebody at work. Um, this could be a friend group. The Three Cups could be like too many people in a situation as well. It can, in fact, be a third party situation. It's usually in reverse for me when it's a third party situation. Ten of Pentacles in reverse. That's an insecure and a confused energy. I, here's something somebody said something before they had really thought it all the way through. And I think they believe that they gave you the wrong answer. Like there was a way to do what you wanted, but like they just. It's almost like they shut something down in haste. 
and they are repenting at leisure. I have the strength card in reverse, which is vulnerabilities. Interesting, and also a lack of courage in something that can actually be cowardice. Like, they didn't have the guts to follow through on something. They didn't have the guts to follow through on something. With the Four of Cups in reverse, which is a, a missed opportunity type of energy, it is something coming in. The Awareness in reverse card. All of these cards are marked with one word. This is Awareness, and it's in reverse. Um, they were unaware that they were acting, I believe, from a place of fear. If they said no to something, they wish now that they had said yes. They wish that they had taken the time to really think something through instead of acting from a place of insecurity and fear. Um, they, want, they wish that they had worked on something with you rather than, like I said, it's like they shut something down with that Ten of Pentacles in reverse. Here we go. The Ten of Pentacles in the upright is like everything's working in good order. It's a secure situation. It can be life partner energy. It can be, it can be one of the energies for lockdown. Um, but it's not an imprisonment energy. In reverse like that, it's like something, insecurities came into play. Insecurities came into play. All right, this is the monk nun energy, which is selfless devotion, single-minded dedication to spirit. The shadow attribute is negative judgment of the, the uh, physical world and excessive piety. Um, honest to goodness, it is like they're, they've been in seclusion for a while, thinking through what appears to be, if it was an argument, it was, it was, they were coming from a fear-based place. If it was a rejection, they were coming from a fear-based place. Um, this has nothing to do with any type of work situations. This is, although it's got pentacles on it, I've got cups in abundance here with this uh, three of cups and then this four of cups in reverse. I have child wounded. They came from a place of fear. Awakens compassion and desires to serve others, wounded children. Open the learning path of forgiveness and the shadow of attributes is blames all dysfunctional relationships on childhood wounds. Resist moving on through forgiveness. I think that there was a possibility of a like serious kind of, I kind of want to say commitment with you because this is life partner energy and they did not know how to do it. Like they, they walked away in fear. Um, what they wish they had said instead is they, they just wish that they had taken their shot, that they had not, like they had seen the process through, that they had not been ruled by fear that they wish that their underlying issues had not caused them to make what I believe they believe is a mistake. Like they, they, they have, yeah, ghosted. Boy, that one's been all over this. I, I do think that you're not in contact with this person. I, my honest sense is that this is a, is a romantic relationship. All the three cups can be a friendship energy. I've just got this, like, they chose the, the solitary path, and now they wish they had you for company. Um, let's keep going here. What else do we have on group number fives? What did they wish they said instead? Uh, they, they just, they took a big giant pass on an opportunity with you. Now, can that have more than a romantic connotation? Of course it can. Could it be like, you know, somebody wishes they'd hired you? Maybe. I don't think so. There's too much fear ruling this. Separation. Woohoo. And then I have runner. Mm-hmm. Fear of intimacy person with healthy boundaries and I want one more on this keep the faith okay well you may not be done on this situation um if you're wondering what if you're here watching this because you're like hey somebody ghosted me I'm a twin flame in separation um there is and you're wondering what do they wish they said instead they wish that they had taken their shot that they had been willing to do things at a measured pace rather than it looks like abrupt, abruptly turning around and walking away with this ghosted and this separation energy. Um, I think they wish they had been like more open. We have protected. I, I really, I think they wish they had been more open. New love. Now remember, I don't read paragraphs underneath. I'm a keyword reader. Um, sometimes I'll read them if they seem to like uh, kind of tie into the energy that's already present, and it, it doesn't. This a new love or recommitment to love is developing. 
Um, is that possible? I think so, because that keep the faith energy is either telling you you have real love coming to you or that this person's regrets are going to mastery. You've learned the spiritual lesson. Vulnerability and then unplug. I always, this is a card of, you know, stop, stop for me. The unplug is working less will bring you better results. I think that they came from a place of fear in turning around and walking away from a relationship. Either it was a potential relationship or it was one that was ongoing, but it was bumping into all their own stuff. And what they wish they had done instead is like taken a shot at it, allowed it to take a very nice slow pace. I think things happened too quickly for them and they got confused and they got scared and that they were not able to find a way to convey that in a way that would have allowed for more things to, like it was, they made a drastic choice is kind of what it looks like. This all, do all things in moderation. They wish they had found the middle ground. What they wish they had said and said is like, if they're like, no, I can't do this goodbye. Or if they didn't, it kind of looks like maybe bother to say goodbye. They, they wish that they had taken a more measured approach, tried to like maybe have a friends with benefits with that three cups energy or a friendship that develops into more. Um, but they have their own intimacy issues. It comes from their own insecurities and their own fears. They know that their underlying issues are what kind of caused them to behave in the manner that they did. Love call. Someone expresses love, a message of love, thinking of you and letting you know. This looks more hopeful to me than sometimes the situation separations. Uh, can meaning that like and are all are the separations helpless situations no not at all um, but usually they can take a little while for people to work through stuff and this person's like worked through stuff but they don't I think they just wish they had been more open and vulnerable with you to kind of let them know because we've got this mastery and vulnerability I think they kind of wanted to say maybe later but I can't right now. Ooh, stabbed in the back, heartbreak, pain, separation, deception, shocking attack. Well, I think it's a separation with heartbroken, deeply hurt, sad, separation, breakup, feeling lost, grieving, and mourning. And then I have coffin, endings bring new beginnings, growth, change, liberation, and transition. I'm gonna take the next one because it was already in my hand, which is photograph. Looking at you, looking at your photos, missing you, nostalgia, make new memories. Do they want a second chance? Um, I know they think about you a lot. With that love call, it, it kind of looks to me like if nothing else, you'll get a different form of closure. If absolutely nothing else, they want a different form of closure than they currently have. They wish they had been open with you. This is part of being open as well about what was frightening them in the concept of a relationship that I don't, it either got off the ground and it scared them. Um, they may have been freshly out of a breakup or in the process of breaking up and they knew they needed to heal. They just wish that they had attempted a slow and steady pace with you rather than doing something abrupt. Um, by the way, if this is describing a, uh, a situation that you're in and you're like, well, should I reach out? Should I reach out? I wouldn't. I just wouldn't. This person is more complicated than you might understand. This is a complicated person. This is a complicated situation. Um, they have to heal all their own stuff. That do, do all things in moderation. I think they have struggled with that. Um, and it could just be extremism versus like, you know, uh, it's the, too much self-indulgence, honest to goodness. Worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in your love life. I do not think you are done. Heart to heart conversations. Honestly discuss your feelings with each other. I'm going to be super duper honest. Um, I do not, sorry, just knocked a tarot card into the fray. Um, I would wait. I would wait. This person is more fear ruled than you think of them as being. Like, however you see them, there's a little bit more going on with that person. Like, they're actually somebody who's deeply insecure and frightened. And I don't know that you saw them that way. I don't know that you saw them that way. Um, but what they wish they had done instead was to, like, let you in on that process. And instead, it looks like they ghosted. 
that you've been in separation for a while. I did not get the Twin Flame card, but I got the Runner card. Um, they feel like they betrayed the connection, and what they but they couldn't betray the connection to themselves either. And that's an important part to remember. If this person who's like really coming off is like simply not ready, was really, really not ready at the time, it is better that they did not attempt to do something they weren't ready for. One and two and three. And I would wait. I would stamp on that so that I can find that siren sound and edit it out. Listening. And then I have the moon, which is things being concealed, intuition, and then reminder. Um, listen, you're still in their thoughts. You're still in their thoughts with that photograph and reminder card. Uh, is it the right time? No, I don't think so. I, I, I have the weirdest feeling on this person that they have been confronting things about themselves that they never have. That they are much better in this solitary energy for the time being. Um, the protected new love, mastery, and vulnerability. Um, is this a new love for you or is it that person coming back? I don't know. It's going to differ from person to person. General readings, unfortunately, can't cover every situation. But it, honest to goodness, I just don't get the feeling that you're done. Um, whether it's that worth waiting for, your real person is going to show up soon, or this person is headed on back once they resolve all of their issues. Because they've got, like the coffin card is also a card of underlying issues. This is a card of underlying issues. This person is dealing with their underlying issues. What they wish they had said instead is telling you about it. Like, I can only be friends right now because I'm working on me. I think you're really cool, but like, I'm working on me. And there's nothing, I, I think they didn't know how to do it. Like, they, they, this is the energy they've always inhabited. And they, their boundaries are, like most runners, instead of being too close in, they're too far out. Like, if somebody gets too close to them, like, they're more likely to cut off contact than they are to examine why they run from connection. They've been healing that and understanding that the thing that they've been doing to keep themselves safe, that protective energy that they have with the runner, is actually just the thing that's adding to isolation. But this is somebody who ghosted. This is somebody who ghosted. I have indecision. Do I get a lot of that? Forgiveness. Change. And then patience. Nothing to be done at the present moment other than continue on your path. Keep the faith, keep healing, keep going. But this is somebody who ghosted you, and they were doing it because they have fear of intimacy issues. What they wish they'd done instead is like been able to talk to you about what they feared rather than acting on the fears. Rather than making you think it was about you, they wish they had let you know and like, listen, this is genuinely. When they say it's not you, it's me, this time it's really, really true. They have trouble not taking things to extremes in their decision process. That slow and steady process, they really, honest to goodness, just wish they, I think they wish they could be your friend. They wish they could be your friend, but I think you wanted more out of it as well. What's coming up is it looks like some healing energy. I have the uh, contemplation, silence, knowing, releasing control. Remember, that is the easiest whenever you're dealing with something in separation, whenever you're dealing with a ghosted situation, try to understand it, but try to release it as well. Let go of the past because that's the easiest way to bring your future to you. And don't focus on, if uh, there's this old saying, if somebody is trying to, if somebody's walking away from you, let them go because there is not anything that you can do to accomplish their work for them. Sometimes people walk away because literally they're not the right person. This is not what this is saying. This is saying that it was absolutely not the right time for this person because they had all this stuff to heal. They seem to be more aware of that. We have Ice Queen, introspection, self-analysis, and fortitude. I'm taking one more on that. With inspirational creation, alchemy, the elements, and invocation. Listen, they're healing. Will they heal in a time period that gives them another shot with you? I don't know. I don't know. That's going to be very, very individual. But it kind of looks to me like you're simply not done. And if you've been sitting and waiting for love and waiting for love, you got that energy with the worth waiting for. And then it also looks like you get at least closure with this person, if not a second chance. But I would not try to initiate it quite simply because this person is, like I said, they're more complicated than you understand them to be. 
Like they've got more in their background and they've got more unhealthy habits and something about like understanding that they have unhealthy habits with that everything in moderation that they understand that they, they struggle with that. One and two and three. They wish they had explained to you what page they were on. I'm going to make sure I get some messages of love cards. I am going to get some messages of love cards. Circle of life, which is about letting go of relationships that don't serve you. With, oh my goodness, letting go. Okay, we're going to take one more on that, but we are going to get messages of love as well with present, which is about being present. Let's talk about this. Circle of life. All relationships in my life should bring me peace, happiness, and growth. It is worth analyzing which relationships in my life are not serving me as I serve them. Just like earth's trees and creatures, my relationships must give and take equally. Letting go. I choose to be free and will fly towards positive relationships. Words and actions will no longer make me feel lesser than what I truly am. A gift to this world, I choose to embody light and let go with present. Time can be tricky. Staying in the moment means not lamenting about things past and not distressing about things to be. The past and future cannot be controlled. I can only control right, where I, right here and right now. So I take peace in surrendering to the present. You had a couple of surrender cards. You had a couple of cards about letting go. Um, is there a time where there will be more information about this? I get the feeling yes. I get the feeling yes. But I also get the feeling that that if you start again, you will start with a fresh slate. Like this person is going to be different and you will be as well. Um, because they really, like, they've got their stuff. And I know I keep saying that, but I think something about what happened with you, because it's like they knew that there was, it's like, well, this should be the thing. Why isn't this the thing? Unavailable. This person is unable to give you all you deserve. Lesson. This person is in your life to teach you a spiritual lesson. Self-care. Clear your energy field and focus on yourself before acting and then awakening. Someone is undergoing a spiritual transformation. Well, the short-term energy and advice could not be more obvious. They're still working on themselves. They're still learning their lessons. They're still learning what makes them shy away from true connection, because that's really what I've got. This person was a little fear-ruled. What they wish they said instead was being truthful about that being truthful about where they were in their process. Is there a time coming up for you? It is going to, it's going to be different for each person. General readings don't contain the hyper-specific information for individuals, but they have a general energy. And it looked that way. It honest to God looked that way. But it also looked like that's not the thing to focus on. Focus on your own journey and to know that this person, like it doesn't leave their mind. It doesn't leave their mind. But they have to learn all kinds of new things to be anybody's partner. Um, that did look like a relationship read, by the way. And they wish they could be a friend. Um, I would let it lie for the moment, but of course, I shouldn't make your decisions for you, and I can't make your decisions for you. Just take care and be well.